This video is the second in the series to help you build your Avon Ballista. By now you should have assembled your Ballista to this point. The base is done, the breech is done, and all we need to do are add the two throwing arms. Let's get started. Okay, we start by slipping a stop pin through the upper and lower frames. And it should slide right through. Like so. Okay. We're now already on the second page. So what we're going to do is we have to create two torsion schemes and we're going to create them out of one piece of string. So take one of the pieces of string, fold it in half, And then we're simply going to cut. So here we're going to use it and we're going to cut to create two torsion schemes. There's instructions on the first page on exactly how to make the knot. It's a very simple knot called a figure of eight. And for the, uh, for the torsion schemes, the skein loops, the most important thing is to have them the same length. The exact length isn't critical, but having them the same length makes tuning the, bell, the ballista later a lot easier. So in order to make a figure of eight knot, take the two ends, pass them over, pass them around behind, and then pass them through the loop. like so. So if your knot looks something like a figure eight, you've done it right. And I'm just going to set this on the template, make sure that I'm somewhere close. All right, like I said, a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, doesn't really matter as long as they're both the same length. So the first one is easy, getting the second one the same length is a little bit tricky. Give it a good tug, make sure that's all nice and tight. So again, another figure of eight knot. Over, behind. Yeah. Over, behind, and through. Here we're going to try and make sure that it gets to be the same length as the first one. Looks pretty good. By the time we give it a tug and set the knot, it should be almost exactly the same length. Very good. I'm just going to set the knots with a little dab of glue. like so. Just so when that glue dries they don't, uh, the knots don't move. Again just a little bit of glue. I'm just using my fingertips here. Just a little bit of glue on the knot. Tightens it up and I can just wipe off with a wet rag. And now we'll trim the knots. we can discard the, uh, the string. In this step, we're going to attach the throwing arm to the ballista. You can see I've straightened out the uh, paper clip. I'm going to take one of the uh, skein loops that we have already tied and the glue is now dry on it. Fold it into a bow tie. And uh, so now I have two loops, fold it into a bow tie again, fold it in half, and now I have four strands, and you can see one, two, three, four. I'm going to hook it with a paper clip, put it through the upper and lower frame, slide it 
slip a torsion dowel through all four strands. Set it on the side like this, makes it a little bit easier to work with. Now I'm going to slip a throwing arm in. And slip the other torsion dowel in, the bottom torsion dowel. And again, it's got to go right through the middle. There needs to be four strands on both sides of it. All right. Now to add a little bit of tension, I'm going to slip the stop pin down. I, you can see that that's now slipped all the way down. And I'm going to give the top torsion pin about a turn and a half, two turns, something like that. And then slide stop pin up and give the bottom torsion pin about two turns. And now center the stop pin and we'll just, you can see now that there's a little bit of tension there. Now just to get a little bit more tension I'm going to slip that down and just repeat for another half turn. Slide it up and go another half turn here. And that should have plenty of tension just for now. That's just so that everything stays in place until we can finish up with the later steps. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat those exact same steps on the other side. Again, taking our scheme loop, bow tie, fold it in half, bow tie, fold it in half. Like so. Oh, I forgot to put uh, my stop pin in. Just slide the stop pin through. Here we go. Torsion dowel. Pull that through. The other throwing arm now. down and we're rotating it so that the arm gets pulled away from the breech. Slide that up. And again I'm just going to go another half turn or so. There we go. And you can see that those will fly out when uh, Pulled back. Excellent. Now it's time to install the bowstring. The bowstring uses the same knot, the same type of cord. We're just going to use the other loop of uh, braided cord here. Again, I'm going to cut it in half, roughly. And using the template as a guide, make another figure of eight knot. So again, the string goes over, under, oh. let's try that again. The string goes over, under, and through giving us a knot that looks like an eight. And I'm just going to set this here and adjust the knot a little bit.
Okay, again, a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, isn't going to hurt anything. We're pretty close there. Again, you can apply a dab of glue just to seize the knot and then trim off any excess. Like so, and then I can get rid of that. Save this other little piece of string just for now. Just keep that right there for now. All right, so now what we're going to do is string the bow. And what we're going to do is just feed this up through the bottom at the end of one of the arms. And then take the other end and pass it through the loop. And as you can see, that's just going to capture that so that it won't go anywhere. And what I like to do is just slip the knot so that the knot's right up underneath, like that. All right, now find the knot B. Thread that onto the bowstring. Just need a little bit more there. Like so. And now, again, feeding it up through the bottom of the arm. Like so. And then we're just going to wrap the, the loop over the end of the throwing arm. Like that. We're almost done. Okay, with the leftover cord, slip it through, and we're going to create the trigger loop. And again, using the, this as a guide, roughly about that long. And again, a figure of eight knot works great, doesn't slip, and it's easy to do. So over, and then just gonna feed this through here. Again, you can adjust it a little bit to uh, make it slightly longer, slightly shorter. So there, that's that's pretty close, close enough, anyways. Tighten that up, and again, you can apply a little dab of glue on that and trim it to length. I'll just get rid of that string. And I'm done with my paper clip. And now we're ready for the next step, which is tuning and testing. That's part two.